use uh, the STM32F4 discovery board and Kibio S with uh, hyperterminal and uh, uh, level adapter you will use with hyperterminal. So uh, basically the hardware is the STM32 F4 board from ST. Uh, this is what you get in the package. It has a USB interface you use with ST Link and another USB interface here. You don't need to use this one, but you'll need to use this one. The other hardware component is the TTL level adapter. Uh, this is one of the most popular you'll find online. It's uh, with the CP2102 chip and it has this breakout uh, for the inputs and outputs you see over there. You won't need to soldier anything on these ones because we're not going to be using them. So uh, that's it for hardware. You need uh, two cables like this to plug into the pins of the discovery board and uh, the level adapter and a bunch of USB cables. Uh, so software. Uh, this demo is based on Kyle so you'll need to have Kyle installed on your computer and uh, you'll need to download KeyBOS so to get to KeyBOS, well maybe since you uh, are viewing this demo you already have it but just to make sure you go on the KeyBOS page go to downloads and you go to SourceForge click over there and uh, in a minute it will uh, it should start downloading if you press yeah and seconds one and you see it's it's downloading so after you download it you need to uh, unzip it and then from Kyle you need to navigate to the folder and file open and I've already opened mine but suppose you're here you navigate it to the place that you've downloaded you see where I downloaded mine and here we go and uh, in the unzip folder you navigate to demos and then you choose ARM CM4 STM 32F4 Discovery and uh, that's where you will find the project okay in the project folder you'll see these files and uh, what you're interested in is yeah is Kyle and then just uh, click all files if you haven't already done so because uh, you might not see this particular uh, project item just click open and then uh, uh, I get the message the project file it's already open because it was already opened on my computer so uh, what you might haven't found on the KeyBOS page uh, apart from the well pretty much comprehensive startup guide uh, is uh, the fact that you have to set up Kyle to communicate with the STM32F4 board. So, uh, to do this in Kyle, well, actually, I've searched on the web and there's a guy, I can't remember his web page exactly, but it looks like this. So, it's uh, 
Spiral Brains blog or something. And he explains how to configure CAL very conveniently. So, uh, this is based on uh, his tutorial, tutorial on setting up CAL. You go to Flash, configure Flash tools. I'll just switch to him. As you can see, use stlink debugger. Debug. It's already selected stlink debugger. There is a, an option of uh, stlink debugger deprecated version as well, but uh, I didn't test that one. I just clicked on stlink debugger. So if you want to do tests, uh, be my guest. So after we've done that, we go on to clicking settings and the port. So we click settings and we choose um, software. Uh, the settings on my computer have already been done. I'm just going through this again just for the sake of this tutorial. So it was JTAG before but you have to select software or SW, click OK and then just scroll through the tutorial and utilities settings and we need to add utilities yeah settings add and we'll navigate to S TM32F4 Right, so we choose the, oh, sorry about that STM32F4 flash add let's click, well it's twice in my project so I'll just remove it You, if you don't have one STM32F4 flash just add one click OK and uh, yeah, uh, let's not forget to create the M file from the output. We'll just click on output and then yeah, it's checked. And click OK and that's, that's the basic setup. Now we need to hook up our hardware. So I didn't hook up mine. We have the STM32F4 board here. just use the USB cable plug it in and behold a Christmas tree yeah so the LEDs these ones are blinking on mine because I, I have already uploaded the, the demo software so to back to the CP2102 board we need to connect this one um, so in the, the tutorial on the KBOS page it specifies exactly how to connect it but um, you don't need to connect all four if you have this type of uh, level adapter you just need to connect the TX and the RX pins the transmitter and the receiver and that is mentioned yeah the first two lines PA3 and PA2 so then just take two wires and connect first the receiver all right which goes into let me see ba3 here we go pa3 and then pa2 is on the transmitter Is that right? Yeah. 
genius. And then we'll hook it up to the transmitter. Come on. Yes. Okay. And now we have to plug this in as well. I have a cable that brings my USB port freely available on a cable. And we have the red LED. This LED just stays on during the transfer. It doesn't blink or do anything. So if, if you have it on, you can just consider everything okay. Um, we go back to the project. So as I said before, my project is already downloaded to the board. But I am going to reset the flash. So... Um, we will start so we can start from zero so we go to flash and erase and you'll see the uh, communication LED blinking and there is a progress bar on Kyle which will show you how yes it's been done so after you've erased the flash you go into the project right click rebuild our target files and you have in the build output you're just going to wait until you see that everything has been compiled and ready to go. Meanwhile, we have this opportunity to set up the uh, infamous, how they call it, on the KBOS page hyperterminal. So, if you have Windows XP, uh, and I suppose it's it should be in Vista in 98 or 7, but you should have it installed on XP. All programs, accessories communication and hyper terminal and here we're going to just add a new link we'll call it tutorial tutorial okay and um, when you install this board it will uh, when you connect it it will automatically uh, assign itself a communication support and you will find it here uh, when you do the new connection in hyper terminal uh, it's com9 so if, if you want if you have more connections and you want to check which one is it of course uh, you can check in hardware manager which one is assigned to the CP2102 and hang on so you go to hardware man device manager and it should be in ports and there you see it. it's called silicon labs cp 210 x and it's on com9 so now that we know it's on com9 we can uh, go ahead and configure just click ok and now this is very important. These are the parameters you should assign to the connection and uh, the baud rate. Uh, I haven't seen it anywhere in the KBOS uh, tutorial, but by testing it, I found out the correct one is 38,400. So just going to set it to 38400 leave the other settings like so click OK alright so now we're back to KBOS and uh, we're going to it's compiled we see zero warnings and we're going to download it flash and just hit download and you'll see the uh, LED 
on the ST-Link just blinking, well it's already done okay and now we're going to run the demo and we're going to go on uh, debug start stop debug session alright so we're in the debug window and all you need to do is click on run and the board we can see that it's running you can see the communications LED blinking here and wow the board looks very nice like this so in the hyper terminal we can see everything has already started so everything's working fine but if we press the reset button now and then the user button we can see the test running again just like the tutorial says so and that's it